as fallout continues from the Middletown Area School District's investigation into a hazing incident involving its high school football team. A rival school is opening its doors to students affected by the football season being canceled. Fox 43's Alyssa Kratz breaks down student transfer eligibility as the football season gets ready to kick off. The Blue Raiders and Rollers are usually on opposite sides of the gridiron. But in a time of adversity, Steel and High Spire superintendent is hoping that changes. You know, Middletown football, Middletown athletics, they're, they're our rivals, but, but, you know, essentially they're our neighbors. You know, and when you really look at that big picture piece, um, you know, that's what neighbors do. The district's leader extending an invite to Middletown students to join their football band and cheerleading programs this fall. It comes after Middletown's decision to cancel its season in the wake of a hazing investigation involving the football team. Uh, Shelton Hunter is a friend of mine and, and, I, and I know plenty of people within the Middletown community. I grew up in this area. You know, and I, and I know a lot of people and I and I just felt it was the right thing to do. Band members and cheerleaders are being offered to join the rollers on the sidelines, even while still attending school at Middletown. And Steel High is doing its due diligence to make sure any football player who transfers had no part in the hazing. Verifying that there was no involvement by these uh, student athletes that are coming to us because I want to make sure that they're in good standing and, um, you know, and, and we're accepting them under those terms. Middletown quarterback Bam Appleby announcing Wednesday he is transferring to Steelton. But according to the PIAA, that doesn't mean he's eligible to hit the field just yet. It's not an easy done deal. Um, anytime there's a transfer, uh, we have certain provisions that provide for presumptive eligibility. Mert says hazing may not fall under those eligibility requirements. And since we're already in season, any athlete who switches schools must sit out for 21 days, no exceptions. That is not waivable. That has to happen. The PIAA also making it clear a student cannot transfer to avoid penalty. A student gets expelled from school and decides I'm going to go over to school B thinking that they can get away from that penalty and play of another school, um, that is prohibited. Alyssa Kratz, Fox 43 News.